Hello, my name is Muhammad Asif. I'm a product manager for Nuage SD WAN portal. Today, in this short video, what I will try to give an overview of one of the <clears throat> one of the key features of the SD WAN portal, which is the white labeling, uh, which helps the service provider to enable resellers, wholesalers, or channel partner to use the same platform, which is the SD WAN portal and Nuage SD WAN VNS platform. So they can use the same platform, they can leverage the same platform, and it can be shared among the different uh, resellers or chat and partners if they have, and they can manage their customer independent of the service provider. This is the very high level overview slide, uh, which is uh, more giving you an, a quick idea about how the portal stands on top of the Nuage VNS platform, which is based on VSD, VSCs, and the NSG CPEs. The portal uh, offered a number of other features as you see on the previous slide as well. But as I mentioned, today the focus is on this reseller or channel partner capability via using the same portal. So without any wasting time, what I will do is I will switch to, to only, I think there's only one slide just to give you an idea of what I mean by this feature before I actually show a demo from our lab. So this slide, which is giving you an idea that on this, if you look at this one, this is the service provider. Could be if you are the service provider looking at this video, this is could be one you. And what you can do is that you can manage your own enterprise customer using the same portal and your enterprise customer can log into the same portal, SD-WAN portal, and they can self-service their services they can do the visualization of their services and their network. At the same time, you can enable your resellers or channel partners, whoever you have a partnership, and they can actually come to the same portal. First, they think that you need to create a special account for them. And once you give them a permission to log into the same portal, when they come, they have the ability to create customers object within the same portal and give the access to the same portal for their customer. And when the customer from these channel partners or resellers log into the same portal, again, as like these enterprise customer are truly independent of each other, multi-tenant, these are also behaved as a end customer from a portal point of view. The only magical thing here is that when a reseller or channel partner, like a green one, log into the same portal, they can only view their enterprise customer. They cannot have any visibility of these customer or these customer. Same for the blue one, like this one, they can only see their enterprise customers and they can actually give access to these customers only. The service partner can have a special role. They can view these two entities as their service provider or their customers, special customer, but at the same time, they can manage their own end customer as normally they do it. So without any wasting time, I am going to switch to my lab setup. So first thing what I will do here is I am going to log into, log into the portal using the, the service providers root level access, which is super admin. <clears throat> Once I log into this portal, I should uh, see a dashboard here in just a second. So dashboard part is covered in the other my other video. So I will jump to the organization part where the channel partners or resellers are managed along with the direct end customer. So as a service provider, I can look at the different type of the users here. The one which you see a special icon, these are my reseller or channel partner. You can see in the description when I create them, I put a special description as well to differentiate them. Uh, but the real dist distinction you can make is based on this icon. The other ones are regular customer, which are my direct customer as a service provider. Now, what I'm doing here is that uh, in addition to this one, one thing I will jump into one of these one, uh, directly as well. As a service partner, I can jump into the, for example, to the Zan network. So I can go to and see what the Zan network look like. But at the same time, FCA network is another one, to, like a channel partner. And although I have not set it up completely, uh, but I can see that 
there. So this is the Zan network. This is the one of the reseller. They have exactly similar uh, look and feel and similar type of the dashboard without anything in it because it's a brand new. But if you look under the organization, they have only one enterprise because that's the one they own it. That's the one I created the one. I can go ahead and create another customer, but this is going to be their own customer, right? It's again, simple customer. Uh, let's say called base, basic customer because I have created two profiles. One is a standard profile and basic. So I will just name it because I'm going to assign a profile basic to it. That's why I'm just naming it that way. I need to just give some address here, which doesn't matter in this case. I will enable everything for them from VNS point of view. I will put any, this number is again irrelevant here. I will put my name here because I will receive the email of the temporary password for this user. That's the only reason I'm putting my name here. I think this matter, the email is the most important right now. So I can quickly go and I can create a basic user for this one. So now it has two users. But if you come back to the as a service partner view, I'm still not seeing any of those users because I'm seeing only seeing my end user, but I can go into this one Zan network. I can see them there. Now what I will do here very quickly, uh, I will switch my browser because to log into this service provider, this service provider. You see, I create a new account and I can see that the temporary even password for that one. So I will bring that one in a minute. Uh, this temporary password, but first I have to log in. Remember, I was trying to browse this Zan network as a service provider, as a main service provider. I will close this window just for the sake of clarity. So right now I'm logged in here as a service provider, the root service provider. This is again a, another browser, just a, you're using a different browser here. And the same login page, instead of this uh, uh, logging to the, uh, to the CSP, I will log into the Zen networks now. And I will use the admin, that's a default user, which has a full access, and I will use its password, which I already set it up. And when I log in as a now Zen network administrator, I will only see myself as a Zen. And again, I see exactly the same view as service provider was seeing, but now I am the administrator. I can see that these users are there. And if I click any one of them, so STN, so sorry, this uh, this particular user, uh, customer, have the access, standard enterprise customer, has the access of all these features, layer three network, layer two network, branches, to transport. And if you remember, when I created this one using the service provider profile, I created with the base, our basic customer profile. So what I will do is I will look at that. You see the number of menus item. So what the power you have seen here is that, and this does not have even some access to the widgets of the dashboard as well. So the power here is that as a, as a, even as a, as a reseller or as a channel partner, I can manage my uh, customer and I can control access for them as well. Very similar to like as the service provider can do that one. So it's very powerful in that sense that you are delegating the different customer level access to the reseller or to the to the channel partner, and now the channel partner becomes uh, becomes the service partner for their customer, and they can manage all those stuff through the portal for them. And again, the service provider when the end customer login, they when they log in, they can have also the exact same access. So I will log out for a minute from this one because I will come back to this, uh, this browser again. I will come here and I will try to create a new reseller or channel partner. How to do that in portal as a service partner. Remember the subscriber organization is my direct customer. That's like this, these customers. If I want a reseller, that's a special account I wanted. So I can, I can call it whatever I want to call it, but let's say it is the, it is the, it's a Z, it's, it's the Z network instead of Zan network now. And organization address could be anybody, like it, it might be in Dubai, UAE, enable everything. And this is my, you no, know, I have all these uh, profile available to me. Premium is the one 
Again, I'm a service provider, root level. I have all packages in there. If I assign prime premium, I'm all giving all capability to this uh, reseller. If I'm using gold, I'm not giving layer two. So layer two is the only missing one there. Everything else is there. So let's buy one. I just assign a gold packet to this one so that they will not have ability to hand over the layer two network. I will put any number here uh, for the sake here because I think it does not matter for this type of organization. And again, I will put myself here and I will quickly enter the rest of the fields. And change the email to my official email address. Now I create a new, a new organization, new organization of special type Z network. It's empty, it should be empty as by definition. And I should, if I click on there, I can as a service provider can quickly take a look on that as well. Right? But before let's go step, take a step back and see what is in the gold package. Gold package has layer three networks. You see the layer three one, but it does not have layer two. Remember the premium one has the layer two as well. You see layer two one, and there is an email to set up its password. So let's do the password thing later on. So I assign this gold package to this reseller. Remember that thing in mind, and this has all these capabilities assigned to it. Now I will go back to my, this browser, and I'm trying to now, I, the password which is given to me, is, let me pull, this is the email I, uh, this is the email I received. Okay, so the email, okay, let me build the email to my, which one? So let's go back to, let's go and finish this thing. Yeah, bring this guy here. So you see that I got an email with admin is the default username, password is this and a gross organization. I'm interested in this temporary password. So I will just copy this guy and I come to this key and I will paste it here just to save time. And I'm now instead of Zen, I would say Z. And I've tried to log in. So as soon as I log in first time, it is telling me to change the password. So provide the password again and set up the new password here and go ahead. So password is changed. I can now use the new password to log in first time to this Z networks. Again, this is a more like a reseller this one. Completely empty, new one, no organization under this one. You can see there. Even if I try to create a new organization, there is no customer profile, so I cannot create one. So first thing I have to do is go to this profile manager create at least one profile. Let's say I call it now this time. Uh, hey, this is my goal. My, let's call it my goal package, right? So it is not the, it is not the service provider one. Let's call it Z actually, even not mine. And I can put pricing, but that's more information. And I can now assign the different, remember, we have no layer to assign to this one. Everything else is there. So I can, I can put all of them here and create a package with everything. All good, and I can go, and I can create another one. I'll say, hey, this is my Z bronze package. And this one I will create with only certain feature. Again, I'm gonna do with very quickly, and I will, I will just skip the layer to one part. Well, I will actually do only the branches. Well, not there to quick requirements, network traffic, this one, fine. Uplink preference, I don't know, it didn't matter. The user is not there, I'm not giving user. I'm giving branch access. I'm giving DHCP option is okay. BGP is layer three one. I think application is the same one. Okay, so that's it. I think good enough to for testing purposes. I just wanna give something less than the total. That's the only purpose. Uh, and now if I come to this, back to the organization, try to create a customer uh, enterprise. It will call it enterprise. Enterprise one. And 
I will call whatever address Dubai somewhere doesn't matter to me I will assign gold package to this one and I will enable everything uh, all right uh, I will put the again my name because I'm gonna receive the email and I think it doesn't matter as long as you have the right format for phone number I think I, it doesn't matter at this moment the email matters because I'm gonna receive the temporary password okay I think I'm ready to save it okay customer is created that's how I create the customer as a as a Z network this is reseller or channel partner so I have this enterprise created for me and if I click on this I can see what is assigned to me as you know that Z network has assigned to me everything pretty much is available to it one layer 2 network or not and if I go try to edit it right let's let's, let's go back and try to try to click on that and if I go back again yeah, email got with the part temporary password. If I do this now, I can do this Z because I'm a service provider and I do the bronze one now to it and try to save it. I'm just trying to save time instead of creating a new one. So I can do that as a service provider. And if I come back to this one and now try to go back there. You see my menus has been changed because now I am under the basic package. So when I log in as Enterprise 1 customer, I will see only this one now. So that's how convenient and again flexible it, this model is that as a, as a service partner, you can create special accounts for your reseller or channel partner. And when the channel partner logged in, they can create their own enterprise customers and their enterprise customer can log into this portal and they can do the self-service management of their VPN services. I think that's all I want to cover uh, in this demo. And again, at the end, you can see that he can only see this its own end customer users or end customer and customers are, sorry, I should say enterprise customer and also these special three reseller or channel partner customer. With this, uh, thank you very much for watching this video.